the working class has been oppressed for far too long by those who seek to profit from their labor. These exploiters have used their wealth and power to keep workers in poverty, while they live lives of luxury. It is time for the working class to stand up and demand what is rightfully theirs. We cannot rely on our so-called leaders to do this for us. History shows us that they are more interested in maintaining their own privilege than fighting for justice. Instead, it is up to each one of us to take action and seek change. Liberation of the working class will not be achieved through the actions of the ruling class or their lackeys. Rather, it is up to the working class themselves to rise up and claim their freedom. Throughout history, the ruling class has always sought to suppress the working class and prevent them from achieving true equality. They use their wealth and influence to maintain control over the masses, keeping them subservient and obedient. But the truth is that the working class possesses immense strength and potential. When united and organized, they can overcome even the most powerful adversaries. It is only by standing together and taking direct action that the working class can achieve true liberation. No one else will do it for them. It is up to each individual worker to embrace their own power and work towards a better world for all. To truly challenge the stranglehold of authority on knowledge and combat its weaponization of ignorance, individuals must also engage in self-reflection and introspection. This includes acknowledging biases and prejudices ingrained into societal norms and examining how they contribute to systemic injustice. Personal growth and transformation require confronting internalized beliefs and attitudes that uphold unequal power structures and promoting positive changes within oneself before advocating for broader transformations across society. Furthermore, grassroots movements and community organizing offer potent methods for resisting authoritarian influences over knowledge distribution. Groups focused on specific causes or addressing local concerns can pool resources and expertise to share information and collaborate on projects aimed at breaking down barriers to learning and sharing knowledge equitably. Authority figures throughout history have often manipulated knowledge and information as a means of controlling others. This practice continues today, with governments, corporations, and other institutions using their power to shape public opinion and limit access to important information. By doing so, they perpetuate systems of inequality and oppression, creating a cycle of ignorance that benefits only those in positions of power. This weaponization of ignorance takes many forms. In some cases, Authorities deliberately spread false information or propaganda designed to mislead the public. For example, politicians may cherry-pick data or manipulate statistics to support their agendas, while big businesses may conceal harmful practices or downplay negative impacts on communities or the environment. In other instances, authorities restrict access to vital resources such as education, healthcare, or technology, further exacerbating existing disparities between different groups within society. Those already disadvantaged due to factors like race, gender identity, sexual orientation, or economic status face additional barriers to accessing essential tools and opportunities necessary for personal growth and empowerment. The end result is a population kept in the dark about crucial issues affecting their daily lives, unable to make informed decisions or hold those in power accountable. Without accurate understanding of complex problems or viable solutions, people remain trapped in cycles of suffering and struggle. To break free from this cycle requires recognizing the insidious nature of authority's grip on knowledge and actively seeking out diverse perspectives and sources of information. 
it involves questioning dominant narratives and challenging those in power to provide transparent and honest answers to difficult questions. Ultimately, it demands collective efforts toward greater intellectual curiosity, critical thinking skills, and social consciousness. Ultimately, the battle against authorities' manipulation of knowledge depends on sustained activism and vigilance against attempts to deceive or confine human potential. By cultivating a lifelong commitment to learning and fostering inclusive environments for open dialogue, individuals can counteract the corrosive effects of ignorance manufactured by those in power and pave the way for a brighter, more just future built upon shared wisdom and mutual respect.